Welcome, 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 welcome to the podcast. This is Mr. Ish. I'm at Kips Bay Boys and Girls Club, Cordell Clubhouse. We're here welcoming some of the cadets. They're here and they're ready to do this podcast. So I just want to introduce everybody from my left to my right. Please start saying your name and your age. Your name and age. Um, my name is Aiden. My name is Aiden, and I'm, I'm seven, seven years old. And my grade is um second. You're in second grade. All right, Aiden. Who's next? Me? Oh, yes. Um, Mrs. Sam, and I am seven years old. Okay. Welcome, welcome. My name is Sancelli, and I'm nine years old. Welcome all. What's going on, guys? Today's Thursday. <gasps> We just have a short week this week from school. We have Monday and Tuesday off. So uh, you guys had a little extra rest this, this week. Um, what are you guys thinking about? What's on your mind today? What did you do in school today? Me? I did my job. Um, my I job was to get the mail, to take the phones away from the kids, to uh, get packages, to do uh, school. Um, what, what are you doing in school? Um, lunch duty. All that stuff. Um, I have a question. What's up? Today in school, I had gym and art. Cool. That's a question? So That's a question. What, no, I, did, question. Um, what question. I want to talk about uh-huh. is about um sharks. Oh, I love sharks. Talk to me. Um, Sharks, they have gills like all fish. And there's something called a bombagong shark. And they, they go, um, they're camouflaged. So then the fish, they... You um, need to talk into the microphone. You're talking to the side. Talk to the microphone. And um, so they got um. They so like camouflage. Yeah, and the fish, w- they can't see them because they're camouflage, and then, but when the fish go by, then it's too late. It's too late, and they eat them. A, a lot of a lot of animals in nature are camouflage. I mean, there's you know butterflies are camouflage, like, uh, leopard, lions, all that a stuff. Lizard? Ca- lizards are camouflage. Some of them even change color, like an iguana could change its color. I have a question. Um, no, no, hold up a second. We ain't finished with our sharks. Oh. Um, do you watch Shark Week? Um, no. No. No? It's the best show ever. The show comes on in, uh, I believe, in July. And it's on Discovery Channel. Hey, that's in my, in my birthday, July oh, 28th. So, okay, I think it's maybe the week before that. But next year, Shark Week is a whole week of TV shows that have to do only with sharks. It is awesome. I watch it every year. I've been watching it for 15 years. My God. I watch it with all my kids. My How kids old are you love now? it. I don't talk about my age. I watch it with all my kids, and not even my girls love sharks. So you, you definitely have to watch that. Shark Week. Just remember that. Anybody else uh, uh, want to talk about sharks? you have any interesting information about sharks? I watch Jaws. You watch the movie Jaws? Yes. You wasn't scared? Oh, no. I didn't. Because I knew it was fake. Because I saw like a little bit of the green screen. Yeah. Yeah, you know, that movie was made in the early late seventies, early eighties. I like Henry Danger. Henry you like Danger. what? Henry Danger. Oh, I love that show too. I know, but we're talking about sharks. We're jumping on Henry Danger. We ain't finished our conversation about sharks. Um, so you watched the movie Jaws and you wasn't uh-huh. scared? And and you you seen all of them? Like Jaws one, two, three? No, I just saw the first one. Okay, well watch the second one, because yeah. the second one is scary. Okay. The first one is good, the second one is scary. Okay. Um for you guys too. I don't know if you could watch if you could handle it. But this lady could handle it. This young lady could handle it. She saw it, she wasn't scared. You so, do watch the what? um it the it movie? Oh no, yeah, I watch, I I'm gonna watch, watch that tomorrow. I haven't watched it because I my in my house my, my daughters are scared of everything. Well at least one of them is. I and, got um, a good it voice. Go ahead. Um uh, Pennywise. Oh my god. I, I haven't seen the movie yet, but once I see the movie I'll let you know if that was a good voice. Pennywise. Um, all right, guys. So we talked a little bit about sharks. What else is on your mind? Um, I have a question. Okay. It's like a really weird question, but like, what is the purpose of Kiss Bay? The purpose of Kiss Bay. Very good question. Very open question because I know, I know. there's a lot that's going on. Well, Kiss Bay right now during the school year is an after school program. Okay. That means that you guys come here after school. Now, many families come for many different reasons. Um, some some hopefully they get to you know learn different things they get to enjoy themselves have new friends mm. and stuff like that um sometimes it's because the parents are working and they need they need that's for you guys they need, they need for you to go to a you know a certain safe place where they can go pick you up at 
But even even the parents that that that's the cause why they come here, we make sure that we help you with homework. We make sure we give you programs like this, podcasting and digital arts and science and and um, STEM and dance and karate. So we try to give you programs that you guys are you know gonna have fun with and are interested in. I want to um, say something that's what I'm on my mind. What's on your mind? Um, you need to talk into the mic, please. So um, sometimes I'm I'm thinking about why do people don't don't help poor people. That's very good. And when you say help, sometimes people think, oh, you can't help poor people or different types of people. It's not money because it's not all about money. Me personally, I remember when my, my kids had uniforms. At the end of the year, my son kind of grew real quick. So I used to take all the uniforms that he used that were still good, wash them, iron them, and give them to another family that couldn't afford uniforms. Because I didn't want it to be a burden that, you know, they're going to start a new school and maybe they couldn't have the beige pants or maybe they didn't have a shirt or they couldn't afford four shirts. So I used to just donate the uniforms every year to another family. And that's um, one of the things that I started with my son so that we could help that's out nice. other people. Um, we do like a we do like a food bank in my neighborhood and we give food to people um, every every week. Do you um, let people uh, do you let people um come to this um after school do we let people come to this after school? everyone is welcome in this after school as long as you fill out the form or your parent fills out the form and you have a physical and you have um and you have a birth certificate and they pay the fee which is only ten dollars for the whole year but what happens if they question. don't pay but what happens if they if they um question. if their parent is um they abandon them well, well, some some people are, are you know are abandoned, and we have people that um that are forced to care kids, and we have some that are in shelters and stuff like that. But that doesn't matter to me. I don't care if you're in a shelter, if your parents have money, you don't have money, as long as you have those requirements, which is a birth certificate, a physical, and the least ten dollars to get in, you are treated just like everybody else. So and, you know, and, and I believe that, you know, we have programs that in case you can't afford the ten dollars, that shouldn't stop you from coming. As long as you have the other two, we, we'll make sure that you get in here. OK, oh. good I question. question. Those are good questions. What's going on? What is the point of eye contact? What is the point of what? Eye contact. Eye contact. No, you need to talk seriously. I, he said I, eye contact. Eye contact. Uh, yeah. Contacts? What is the point of eye contact, he says? When, you, when people are looking at each other? No, like eye contact, like the thing. That or the ones that go in your eyes? Yeah. When you don't want to wear glasses, you could get your prescription in something that's a contact. And it has your prescription, so you take this. I have glasses on right now. You take your glasses off, you put them on, and you can see better. Oh. So so you don't have you don't have these things on you. So that's that's the Boy. point of contacts. Some people also put them to change the color of their hair. I mean, I'm sorry, the color of their eyes and stuff like that. Yeah, cause there's like there's black ones. Yeah, there's some people use, especially for the for Halloween yeah, right now. Some Even people use daughter. white ones. Some people Even use. Even your the, daughter, she so, has blue eyes. She has green eyes, but those are real. Uh. Those are not contacts. Oh. Uh. But um, yeah, some people change the color. Some people change the shape of their eyes. Some people, you know, those are cosmetic. Those are just to to make you look good. But some people really need them so they could see either far or close or to read or something just, my, like that. just like my uncle. He has contacts or glasses? Um, He has contacts. Yeah. So some people find it easier. You know that my grandpa and my dad has the same name as me? Yeah, because you're probably the third. Grandpa's probably the first. Your dad is the, is the junior and you're the third. If you have the same exact name, yes, that's the way it works. Um... What is one of your favorite? Wait, what is one of your special days that you ever have? Um, one of the most special days that I ever had. Um, for now, I would say seeing my oldest son graduate from high school. Um, that was very special in my family, and for him to go to college, because it um, <clears throat> as parents. And as and, and my wife helped me raise my son, um, we saw him, you know, 
go through all the stages of school from five years old, six years old, all the way till he became a senior and then graduated from a, from a good school to college. So it felt like as parents, as an accomplishment, it felt oh. like we did something right for our kids. What is um, your favorite? Um, my favorite, um, the day, um, the day, um, that I went to play land. That's your, your favorite accomplishment? Yeah, well, it's accomplishment is something you did. Like if you got a, a 90 in spelling because yeah. you, had, you had a hard, hard time, you know, time doing it. There. Mm-hmm. I, I got to go on some of the rides. Okay. Next time I go there, then I'll go on all of the rides. Okay, who else? What, what about you? Um, it was this. What? Uh, okay. okay, we can have no. Oh, yeah, my special feel about that. Oh, my special cup. Uh, accomplishment. My other, my other special accomplishment mm-hmm. is that um, when I got to this after school. Okay, well, I'll take that, and I'll give you a little, a little clap for that. If you feel that this is a great accomplishment, then thank you, thank you for for counting on us. I don't get why people want the iPhone 11 because it's like you just win an iPhone, but just three cameras. The people, no point people want the newest of the new. That's it. They just why why do people off. buy new cars? Because they don't off. want because they don't want an old car. It's not it's not necessary to show off. That that's not that's not correct. Sometimes they use I it. mean just sometimes. I get a new car every three years. Mm. You know, every three years I get a new car. And sometimes people say, Oh, you could just right do it. Now your that's old a car. long time. Yeah, but right every now three you years have a punch buggy. No, I actually have a new car and it's not a punch buggy, it's a smart car. Mm. But I have a new car at home. I bring cool. it I bring it every once in a while. I don't bring it that much, but I have a, a new one, and then I have the the one that I use every day that you see me driving, the little one. Okay. Um, um, yeah, so sometimes that one's people, parked in front of Kids Bay. Yeah, sometimes people buy you know new stuff because they want to show off. Sometimes it's necessity. Sometimes it's just they you want to see they, it. They don't want you? The, they want the newest things. Don't when you get to Kids Bay, let me guess. You want to see it. Right? See what? See people um, giving other people stuff. Um. Yeah, that's nice. I like when people share stuff. That's that's amazing. How Mom. come you get that park, that park parking spot every day? Because every time I come here, because my car is very small and it, it is, it's probably one of the only ones that fit there. My brother, uh, he, my brother, he like he keeps asking my mom for AirPods, so then he can show. Oh, my yeah. school is that's in what teenagers D- do. My my school is across the George Washington Bridge. Oh, you you in oh, you in George? No, you're not. You're in you're in Harlem. You're in, you're in Harlem, I think. That school's in Harlem. In a hundred and forty something street. No, it's um, Success Academy in Washington Heights. Oh, you're in Washington Heights. Okay, so you're over here, in, in uh, across that little bridge over there. Um, it's not little. Oh, it's a long bridge. All right, guys, we're gonna give somebody else a shot. Wait, so I, I do knock, appreciate knock, it. Yeah, baby. Knock knock. Who's there? Mm, you. Me who? No, no, like you say you like. Mister Ish. Oh my. Okay, um, say like you who, like that. Okay, start all over. Knock, knock. Who's there? You. Me who? <laughs> you! Why is okay, it? knock, knock. Why th- Who's there? Knock. Who's there? Um, fish. Fish who? I don't know, fish in my fish. All right, and we're ending what? it. Wait. No, no, it's over, it's over. Check, 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 one, two, one, two, check, 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 check. And we're out of here.